We've made significant progress in auto safety over the past 50 years that has reduced the number of fatalities, but we are far from solving drunk driving. Each year in the United States, we lose approximately 10,000 lives to drunk driving. To reduce this deadly trend, lawmakers, the auto industry, and safety advocates have come together to support development of innovative technology that could save lives. There was a call to action. We said, you know, we need to explore uh, the use of in-vehicle technology. The DADS Research Program is a public-private partnership between the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Automotive Coalition for Traffic Safety, which represents the leading automakers in the United States. We're researching an alcohol detection system that will measure a driver's alcohol concentration in less than a second. If it is above the national standard of 0.08, the vehicle won't move. For drivers under 21, for whom any amount of blood alcohol is illegal, parents can program the system for a zero tolerance policy. When you look at the 10,000 fatalities uh, attributed to drunk driving, which is where we are about today, the DADS program has a tremendous opportunity to reduce that number by thousands. In order to do this, we're developing two technologies, a breath-based system and a touch-based system the breath-based technology pulls the driver's naturally exhaled breath into a sensor located in the door or in the steering column. A beam of infrared light is then directed at the molecules in the breath. If the proportion of alcohol to carbon dioxide molecules is above a certain range, it indicates an illegal alcohol level. The touch-based technology reads blood alcohol below the skin surface. Touch sensors in the car's ignition button or in the gear shift shine a beam of light onto a finger. This touch-based system uses near-infrared tissue spectroscopy to detect the level of alcohol in the blood. What we're doing with the DADS program is something that's never been done before, where we're literally creating technology that didn't exist before. The tools to measure that technology didn't exist before. Well, we've set very high standards for ourselves. We're doing very thorough technology testing, and then we're doing very thorough human subject testing. It's basically taking, you know, a, a university chemistry lab, making it the size of your smartphone and putting it in a car. When the research is completed, this technology could be revolutionary in the fight against drunk driving. That is why there's such a broad coalition supporting it. It's rare that such a diverse group of constituencies would get together and be so supportive of a program to eliminate drunk driving. Mothers Against Drunk Driving has been the greatest supporter of the DADS program. We have been with them from the beginning, and we will continue to be with them until this technology is deployed, because we know it will save lives. We believe in the DADS program because the mission of DADS, the elimination of alcohol impaired fatalities on our highways, uh, aligns perfectly with our own. As someone who works for an international foundation, I can tell you that the benefits of DADS will extend beyond the U.S. to all around the world. And that's why we so strongly believe that we must see DADS come to market. While there are several challenges to meet before we get to the finish line, we are excited about the road ahead. Over the course of the next year, the DADS program will move out of the laboratory and onto the road. We'll take the vehicles and distribute them throughout the United States in different environmental conditions, altitude, uh, temperature, and allow drivers not only to test them out, but we'll also get the opportunity to see how individuals that haven't been involved with the program will respond to these sensors and how they'll interact with them. To get the last little bit of precision and accuracy, that's where a lot of the effort uh, ends up being expended on. We've developed prototypes, and today the reality is uh, not if it's going to happen, but when it's going to happen.